All right, the beginning of the blizzard of 22. It was raining this morning, right? And I went to the gym. Came out of the gym and the winds picked up. We're expecting 60 to 70 mile an hour winds today um, with 46 inches of snow. So I'm gonna kind of document this whole storm in Buffalo since I decided to stay around for it and enjoy an epic storm. So stay with me. All right, so the next hour and it is quickly going towards, you know, 50, about 40 mile an hour winds right now. Really getting nasty. But uh, this is just the beginning of the storm. We have a lot in store. Welcome to Buffalo. Hey. It's a beautiful thing. It's 22. Cars are really out here. Actually, there's some cars out here. There's some people traveling around. I don't know what they're doing. From out of state, like Pennsylvania. Yep. Oh, there's some truckers out here. Holy shit. Yeah. He's hauling down the road. Kind of crazy. Frickin' ice and shit. Pretty much the road is closed down. I mean, not a lot going on out here. Usually this is a pretty, pretty busy road, so not too busy today. It'll get worse later today with 30 inches of snow coming. Calling out the Audi. Oh yeah. Fun times in Buffalo. What is it? Blizzard of 22. Here we go. Uh huh. Get some shots. All right. And, uh, it's turned uh, in a few hours from basically about 24 degrees to 3 degrees and a wind chill of 30 below right now. So it's gotten quite cold. Uh, snow is definitely drifting pretty heavily. The waves are gigantic down at uh, down at Hoover Beach.
front of the house now. Getting a better look at things. Looks like all I know is it's damn cold. This storm just started a few hours ago, so it's making some good progress, I'll tell you. white out down the street. Yeah. It's starting to freeze up my camera, I can tell. There you go. Yeah, so heading into it. Down the road here. That's about all you can take of that. <sighs> all right, second day, Saturday, Christmas Eve. The winds have uh, died down a little bit. They're only up to 50 mile an hour winds today, which makes it a little, a little bit more tolerable. But uh, tonight we're expecting 30 inches into Christmas day. The winds are gonna kick back up, I think. So. Could be kind of gnarly. Just finishing the sidewalk. A nice pile of snow over here. The roads are looking pretty good. Huh? Plows did their job. Yeah, they got out here early this morning, like 3.30 a.m. Heard them coming down the street. Got them all cleaned out, man. Looking good, looking good. Actually, there's a hint of sun over there, believe it or not. There's a hint of sun. See it? All the work is done, all the plowing. Now, I had someone to hooked me up with a snowboard to go sketching down the roads because nobody's on them. But, don't have my snowboard, 
nor do I have a rope to sketch with. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. It's certainly a nice day. The winds have died down. It's freaking beautiful. White Christmas, man. More snow's coming. Looks like it's starting already. We're gonna get a few more inches and we'll have some more work to do here. You know? well, Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you're enjoying it. this morning and now now three hours later we got about uh, I don't know six or eight inches of snow it's pretty much a whiteout uh, happening here so I'm gonna go at it again to get keep the car clean to try and take off tomorrow see if we can get out of here I don't know looking a little doubtful it's not gonna stop snowing till 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Hey, oh boy. There's some sick shit out here. I mean, it's coming down like, I don't know, three to four inches an hour. It's been a few hours, we got like eight or 10 inches already. This is nuts. Buffalo. Man, somebody's out driving. That's good. That's beautiful. Smart dude there. Two of them. Two of them. He's got a snow blower in the back, so maybe it's for a good cause. Hi. <laughs> it was like up to about here. Really? Yeah. I hit it. I hit a. Took the shovel. Uh huh. I was using that to brace myself so I wouldn't sink down. Right. Then I had to dig a little bit to get the top layer off. But I got over here and dig down to the vents to clear. That's amazing how it's like. Not even snowing right yeah. there. It's, it's just drifting off of it. The wind hits the house and then it pushes it back. Yep. It's basically a lunar house. It's like... <laughs> it's like out of, a, out of a movie. Out of a movie, yeah. Snow globe. Yep. There's crazy, crazy amounts of snow coming down. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Now this is a very cool way to be one of my last times in Buffalo before I move out to Colorado. And uh, 
this is definitely your beautiful um, sorry about that buffalo blizzard 22 great way to end my week-long stay up here for the holidays love this weather man so refreshing so clean so serene nobody's out everyone's inside you know although you do have to watch your cars in case one comes like right now I think I hear something maybe I don't know we'll see all right day three of the blizzard of 22 once again the car is covered Jeff's out with the snow blower Starting. It's uh, pretty buried. Got about 47, 48 inches, something like that. It's uh, quite a window warning line. Okay. Going to head out this morning and hopefully make it out of Buffalo and head down to Southern Tier Expressway. And get out of Dodge here, heading back to PA. Peace. Okay, got her unburied. Now it's just a matter of warming her up and hoping the roads get plowed soon. No plows yet. Hoping for an exit today. We'll see. Sketchy. Jeff's clearing a path for me to get out. The roads aren't plowed yet, but we're going for it. We're heading back to Pennsylvania. We can try and beat the next wave of snow. <laughs> Adios. Okay, a little bit hairy leaving, going through about 18 to 24 inches of snow. No plowing yet, so a little dicey, a little dicey. But we're going to try and get through this, see what we can do. Well, within an hour of leaving Buffalo, it was barely a dusting on the ground all the way through New York State and down into PA, so made it home safely. Had a great week visiting with my friends, reconnecting. And these are friends I've had for 50 plus years. And, uh, you know, no matter how far apart we are or how long it's been, you can always just sit down and pick it up right where we left off. And I think that's kind of the definition of true happiness, is uh, having friends like that. First, to my beautiful sister and my brother-in-law, Jeff, you guys always make me feel so welcome and at ease. Your love is evident in all the things you do for me. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you both. To my dear friend Susie, you've always been there for me with open arms and a loving heart. I love you with a deepness most people never get to experience, so thank you for being my friend. To my stalwart and steady George, who was my greatest companion during so many crazy nights in our youth, you always got me home safely, drunk, but safe. Thanks for always caring. Joey D, my teammate in life, who has made me so proud of his tenacity and perseverance in building a successful company. Probably the greatest salesman I've ever known. And to his beautiful wife, Debbie, you are still a shining light and a beacon of hope. I love you both. To Ricky, you and I are cut from the same cloth and we share the same heart. Always remain true to yourself. And I have a feeling we will be traveling along the roads of life once again. I got your back, brother. To Louie, the joy and laughter that continues to flow from you 
is so refreshing and your laugh is so contagious. Always was, always will be. Never take life too seriously and make sure to get your ass out to Colorado. To Bobby, words cannot begin to describe the depth of our friendship. From the very first meeting in Hoover Beach at the shed to the present day, I can always count on you being there as a true friend. Love you, man. Gone fishing.